Welcome to Digital SAT Deep Dive. My name is Vince. Let's get straight into this question. So we've got a table question. These are a little annoying, right? Because there's so much information. But we want to just kind of do as little as possible and still get it right. We don't want to be a hero here. Um, and in fact, we don't really don't want to waste our time. So what I like to do first is just say, all right, let me look at the table. Try to figure out what's what without memorizing it. We know the title is important. Employment by sector in France and the U.S. in terms of those years, um, percent of total employment, and we see that there are some columns. We got agriculture in France, we got manufacturing in France, services in France, same things in the U.S. And we have the years, and we can kind of tell that's the percent of employment in each year. So we we do all this kind of quickly without worrying about getting it exact, but we don't want to be you know completely clueless when we read the question, because the question won't really make that much sense unless we kind of understand the table. I mean, it helps. Let's put just put it that way. So if we read the question, let's do that. Over the past 200 years, the percentage of the population employed in the agricultural sector, okay, that's good to know because we don't have to look at every sector maybe, has declined in both France and the U.S. while employment in the service sector, which includes blah, 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 has risen. Okay, so we have some basic facts so far. Agriculture down, service up. However, this transition happened at very different rates in the two countries. This can be seen most clearly by comparing the unemployment by sector in both countries in. Hmm. Now, before I look at the choices, this is where I, I definitely don't want to just go choice by choice here because it's going to be slower. What I'm going to hope is if I look at the table and I look at agriculture for both countries versus services, agriculture is going to go down. And I want to look for something that jumps out at me visually in terms of a difference. And I see in France, you know, from year to year, um, the big, and I'm just going to do this slowly because we, we want to just kind of develop this sense of like what jumps, what does that mean to jump out? Agriculture in France goes down, 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 but the biggest decrease looks like from 1950 to 2012, right? Um, let's look at agriculture in the U.S. Oh, with the biggest decrease is from 41 to 14, so that's 1900 to 1950. Okay, so if let's compare that to, because we have to compare... If we look at the choices briefly, we have to compare the same uh, years for each country. You know, we don't get to pick different years for different countries because it doesn't specify, you know, a different country for a different year. So look at 1900 in the U.S. Agriculture dropped a lot. That's the biggest drop for agriculture in the U.S., you know, between any two comparison uh, years. And in France, it's quite a bit different in those years. You know, it only went down 11 compared to the U.S. That's a big difference. So, so far I'm starting to think, okay, 1900 to 1950 is definitely a very different rate for the two countries in terms of the agricultural sector. Now let's check out the service sector and we're going to hope that the, we're just going to look at 1900 to 1950 and hope the service sector gives us the same result. In France... Um, it increased, like we said, but it, you know, it, it just went up seven. And if services in the U.S. went up quite a bit from 31 to 53, so that's a pretty big difference. Now, at this point, you know, the, the SAT isn't going to mess with us too much. You know, that was a big difference in each country, you know. And you might say, well, how do we know that's the biggest difference? Well, I'm just here to tell you the SAT isn't cruel. You know, they're not going to give you two big differences and be like, ha ha, you know, we wanted, they're, we know they're both big, but we wanted you to pick the bigger one. Um, they won't do that. You know, at least I don't think I've never seen it. So um, at this point, we would probably ha be happy with picking choice A because in the services difference, again, that was 1900 to 1950. Now, just to, you can stop watching the video here if you're happy with that, but we're going to go through the other answer choices just to show you how bad they are. And SAT is fair at the end of the day, and they will make these choices wrong 
and clearly not the biggest difference. So let's look at 1800 versus 2012 in, in those things. So 1800 in France, it goes from 64 to three in 2012. But look at the US, it goes from 68 to two. So it's like the same thing. At that point, I'm like, no, B is clearly wrong. There's, they're, they're exactly almost the same kind of magnitude. Um, and then we can see the same thing if we felt like looking at services in 1800, they went up a lot. Services in the US in 1800 versus 2012, they went from 13 to 80. Both the countries, big, big increase in services, B clearly way off. Let's do the same thing with 1900. And we can see the exact same pattern with 1900 versus 2012. In France and agriculture, it went from 43 to three, huge difference. US, super similar. Same problem with, with C as with B. We're gonna get rid of that. And then with choice D, what about 1800 versus 1900? So in France, there's a pretty big decline in agriculture. 64 to 43, but in the US, look how similar it is, 68 to 41. And then services in France kind of doubled, but look in the US, they, they, you know, doubled in a little more, pretty similar. So notice the A was really the only good answer, even in the ballpark here. So if you're looking at a table, what should you do? Make sure you understand what it's showing you um, first, or at least I like to do that. Then read the question, make sure you know what the question is asking. The question in, in this sense is a little complicated, so take your time with it. You know, it's it's asking kind of a complex thing, but once you wrap your head around, okay, we need to compare the two years that the, has the biggest different rates, biggest difference in rates between the two countries for both the, the decline in agriculture and the rise in service sector. So like I said, kind of complicated, take your time with that. And then look at the table, see, what jumps out at you in terms of just looking at it where do you see the biggest changes happening and you can just look at the numbers and it should be the it should be the case that you shouldn't be doing a lot of math in your head the number change should be so big that you kind of don't even have to do the math because it should jump out at you and in this case it kind of did um worst case scenario if it didn't jump out at us then we could start going choice by choice and again you know, they're not going to split hairs. There's only going to be one choice that really does it. So, you know, take your time understanding the question. That's probably the biggest pitfall here. You know, if you don't understand the question, it's not, nothing is going to work. So take your time with that. And you should be able to be pretty accurate with this type of question.